Hello, strong people. Week, I'm going to call it week one, day one, but it's kind of different today. Um, this is technically the start of prep for the Olympic City Pro-Am, but due to unforeseen circumstances, I don't have a program today. And that's not on my coach or anything, you know. It's, there's real life outside of the gym, and he had to put his dog down, so he didn't have time to do it. And that's that's understandable. I mean, like, it, I think anybody out there that's had, that has had a dog that you've been in that scenario with, you can understand. So I'm not mad in the slice that I'm not having a program. Did I want to start prep? Yeah, of course. It was in my mind. But it's not realistic. It's just not how it happened. So he did instruct me to do some uh, fairly light um, pressing and squatting today. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to work up to, but I am going to do log. Um, I'm going to do some clean and press every rep just because I haven't done clean and press every rep since nationals, I don't think. Yeah, because it's been pretty much off-season work since then. So it's uh, I'm just going to get a feel for the motion again. No idea. I don't want to push it too much because, you know, that's what he told me not to. So we'll stick with that. And then I'm gonna do I'm gonna do SSB squats, probably to a box, maybe a high box. We'll see. I have some stuff to you know. I got to play around a little bit today since I don't have an exact schedule, but that's no excuse to not go hard. So let's get into it. Not too bad. Uh, it felt a little bit awkward doing log like that, clean and press every rep. Um, you know, I haven't done it in a little while. Not too long, though. Um, that is the first time that I've gone without a, a grip shirt on log. And if you've never done log, and if you've never used a grip shirt, a grip shirt is it's nice. It makes a big difference. Um, for those of you that don't know, the log, like, it sticks to it. It's grippy. So, um, this log, the uh, MB Power Center log, it has a little bit more texture to it, like the powder coat on it. So, it, it doesn't slide as bad on clothing. Sometimes. It just depends what you're wearing, really. But, it was sliding a little bit today. But, I, I, I like not using a grip shirt because it does make your upper back and, you know, it makes you pull the log in a little bit tighter. And uh, I know for this upcoming show, the Olympic City Pro-Am, you're able to use a grip shirt. But for the show after, you're not allowed to. So, um, it's going to be a bit of a weird adjustment going from using one for this show to not using one. 
for the next show, but it's, uh, I don't even think I used a grip shirt up until last year, I'm pretty sure. So it's not like I'm, you know, not used to not using one. But it's still, you know, it's a little bit added added a uh, difficulty for sure. With all that being said, 300 pounds for three sets of three. That ain't bad. Um, I took my time in between reps. I wasn't like rushing or anything. If I wanted to, I feel like I could have done five fairly easily. My balance was a little bit off and the push press timing was off, but I, I haven't push pressed in, uh, since the week after nationals. I think since I hit my 400 pound log or my 405 axle or something, I think it's the last time I push pressed. So if we're not doing that for a while, it felt okay. Not a bad starting point. Oh, I just bit my tongue a little bit. Getting ahead of myself. Anyway. I'm pretty happy with that. The cleans didn't feel too bad. I was losing my balance out in front because I wasn't getting the full rotation. That's just something I'll work on as, to, as a prep goes. Presses felt fine. But um, moving on to some squats. I'm going to do probably the same rep scheme, three by three, uh, moderate weight. I don't know. I have the box set pretty high right now just because uh, I just did legs, you know, fairly recently. and. Uh, Typically, I, I don't know if I'll train tomorrow. I don't know what the plan is exactly. You know, it's up to my coach, if whatever he's up for. But typically, I deadlift the day after pressing. So it was a little bit odd that he had me doing squats today. That's okay. It is what it is. Um, I can probably put on a decent amount of weight for these if I wanted to because it's such a high box. I, I I shouldn't. He told me not to, so we'll play it kind of safe. And um, it's cold. It's cold in here. I took probably too long of a rest period there. I was trying to get some stuff sorted for uh, possibly getting rid of some stuff in here and replacing it with newer stuff. So spent a little too much time doing that. Should have waited till the end. Oh well, you live and you learn. Let's do some more squats. All right. Well, I'm going to call the workout there, at least for the recording. I'm still going to do, I've done some accessories so far, and I think I'm going to do maybe another couple banded things for my shoulders, just the basic rear delt, front delt stuff. But I'm happy with the workout. It was low volume, of course, three by three there, and I ended up doing just ascending triples up to a top triple on squat rather than... um you know, do three sets of three at a top weight. And I kept those beltless just because I didn't want to put my belt back on pretty much. So I've never gone that heavy beltless. That it's 471. 455. It's It would be 455 with a 45-pound bar, but it's a 61-pound bar, so it's 16 pounds heavier. So 455 plus 16 is 471. Smart man. So... I've done that um, to a high box before, but it was belted. That might have been 500 pounds when I did that. It was it was up there. I think it was five plates, so probably low. Would have been like 515 or something like that. I don't know. 520. I don't know. Something like that. So that's definitely a beltless PR. I don't usually go above like three plates and a 25 without a belt. But that's no big deal. It's just a preference thing. Uh, I'm happy with that. Not much else to say. Low volume workout tonight, but we moved some weight, got a feel for where we're at. So I'm pretty happy with that. 
I've been doing a lot of shopping around too, thinking about what I need in the gym. Need is a strong word, by the way. Um, more or less what I could replace in here. Um, I would like to get a massive deadlift platform. Like the one I use is perfectly fine for pressing and stuff. But I almost want to um, bolt my squat rack down to one just to kind of disperse the weight because it feels weird um, standing on the shed floor just with a mat on top. Um, plus, obviously, you know, if I fail uh, anything here and I have to dump the plates for whatever reason, say I didn't set the safeties or whatever, and I got to dump it, I'm, you know, dropping quite a bit of weight on the floor, and I don't think the shed floor is meant to support that. So who knows? Uh, I've been close with the bench before, and I've been close with the squat. So, I mean, it's possible. Well, obviously not ideal, but... So that's a, I, I don't, I don't want to worry about that one right now, but it will be nice to have at some point. Um, I'd love to upgrade my squat rack. I just wish it was um, deeper. I think that's the word. Give me a little bit more wiggle room in there. Um, not a necessity. I want to replace my axle bar with a better one. Um, just because the Titan axles are rated to like 600, 650 pounds. So I'm honestly amazed that it's not bent yet based on all the 13 inch deadlifts that I had to do with it and the axle press, whatever else. So it's held up fine, but it's, I don't know. I don't, I almost, it's one of those things I buy it. So it's kind of in the event of something happening. So uh, do I need a new axle right now? No but I don't want to be stuck without one just in case this one does happen to go because I am training for a max axle deadlift now. And, uh, you know, I hope to be up in that mid 700 range. Just, just hoping we'll see. So I feel like I need an axle that can support that. And then I know the show after is, um, there's an axle press in it. So I just, I don't know. I, I want to replace it before it happens. That was kind of why, you know, that's why I replaced the log. And that was one of the best decisions, best decisions I made about anything in here. Um, i trying to think of what else. Circus dumbbell. I don't know of any circus dumbbell shows coming up anytime soon. But uh, I'm gonna, if I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess right now. Someone hold me to this whenever the events gets, get announced. At Nationals this year, I bet there's a circus dumbbell. There wasn't last year. There wasn't one this year. There wasn't one the year before, to my knowledge. I don't know the last time they used one. So I'm thinking there might be a circus dumbbell at Strongman Corporation National this year. That's me just thinking off the top of my head right now. And that dumbbell I have there, no. I, I can't fit 25s in it, which is a problem, because I don't have enough 10s and 5s to load it up. And it's just it's kind of stupid. It bends and it's not good. It would be fine for like anything under, I don't know, 150, I guess. I've had it up heavier, I believe, but it's just not great. Uh, but I don't, I don't know for sure. I, I don't have any, sh you know, for sure shows with that in it. Um, I'd love to replace my lat pull down, which I've said before. This thing scares me. But I'd love to get like, I don't even know what they're called, a regular pulley system with a lat pull down. I've seen a few, but they're just so crazy expensive. I'd love to get a lat, or not lat, a um, plate loaded one. And then on top of that, I need to get some more um, weighted out plates. I'm an ambassador for them, but they are legit my favorite plates. I mean, that's, what's, you, that's what you see in almost all of my videos. That's what I, I always use them in a squad. I'll use them for deadlifting because I need them to get you know, enough weight on the bar typically. I use them for almost everything. If I need a 45 pound plate, that's what I'm using. Um, and I love them. So I want, I want more of those. They're great for space saving and whatever else. If you're, if you want to see them, I think there's a, I'll make sure there's a link in bio for this, but you can use them. I have a code. If you want like 5% off, it's, I love them. I really do. And I don't just say that lightly. Like I read whenever I, um, bought some. I bought some not as an ambassador. I liked them enough. I was like, hey, I reached out to them. I was like, these are great. Like, can I help you out in some way? So like I asked to be a part of like their team. So I, I'm a big fan.
Wow, I've been talking for like seven minutes now. I wonder if anybody's still watching. The beard's looking kind of wild. Um, I don't know. I think I'm rambling at this point. There's some stuff I need in here. Oh, I said need again. I don't think I need it, but I want it. It'd be smart because, you know, it's like that. At this point, it's like a buy once, cry once thing, except I've already bought everything like once. So it's kind of like sell it and then buy and cry again, but only hopefully buy that one time. That's a lot of words to say. I want new equipment. And um, I don't know. I bought a deadlift suit. That's another thing. Um, regionals is going to be, you can use a suit for that show, which I like. The reason I like it is because that gives me time to break it in, get used to it, get a full prep in, and then hopefully, you know, if all goes well, um, usually OSG has a deadlift event for the online qualifier. I don't see a scenario where they're not going to have a deadlift in the qualifier. And um, every year they've allowed deadlift suits in it. So I better learn how to use a suit if I'm going to try to qualify. And I don't know. I think that's just a good... Um, a good change of pace because I've never used one. So pretty much as soon as I saw that uh, we were allowed to use one, I bought one right away because I know they can take, you know, six to eight weeks to get here, depending on, you know, if they have your size in stock and whatever else. And if I get the wrong size, then I have time to, you know, get things sorted out and exchange it, whatever else. But that's a whole bunch of news right there. All right. I've talked for like eight and a half minutes. I think that's enough. So I'll see you guys maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow. Either way, go out, get strong, stay strong, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.